Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Falling Block minigame. Now, this is a really awesome minigame which allows you to run about avoiding lots of blocks, and whoever lasts the longest is obviously the winner. Now, this is pretty difficult to show with only one set of hands and one computer, uh, but I'm going to do my best, and if you download it and play with your friends, you can have a much better time as everyone is playing. So, what does this plugin do? Well, as I mentioned, blocks will rain from the sky and you have to run about trying to avoid them. So let's go ahead and get started by doing forward slash falling blocks, and that will show us the three different types of commands. To get to the sub commands, you can do falling block player, that will give you the player command, so join, list, and leave. You can do falling block admin, this will show you the admin commands to force, stop, and start arenas. And if you do falling block and then arena, that will show you the arena creation commands. So first of all, let's go ahead and do forward slash falling block set main lobby, and that will be the lobby who will get teleported to after a match. Let's go ahead and create a new arena now. So if you do forward slash falling block create and the arena name, let's go with test, that will create it. So once we've done that, we can set the lobby for the specific arena by doing forward slash falling block lobby and then arena. And then we can go ahead and set the bounds of the arena. So I'd recommend making it much bigger than this. And you're going to go to one corner, go really, really high and do forward slash falling block, pause one and then the arena name. Then fly over to the opposite corner and go really low down to the ground. Um, try make it as big as you can as I mentioned and do pause two and then the arena name. Now my arena is really weird, it's uh, got a hill and random blocks of wood. I'd recommend making it much nicer than this. Uh, but then we can go ahead and set the min and max players. This is very straightforward, you do four slash falling block, set min players, the arena names are test and then two. Two is the minimum you can have but you could have more than that. And then go ahead and change min to max and change the max amount of players to three for example. Once we've done that we need to do four slash falling block enable and then the arena name. So if you want to edit arena you can always disable it but to play it you need to enable it. Then to do signs you need to do brackets FB on the top line, join and then the arena on the third line. Now if you do it in caps lock for some reason that will not work. So go ahead and do FB in brackets in lowercase then join and then test on the third line and it should work. Then to do a leaving sign you do FB lowercase and then leave on the second line and there you go it will work you'll have your join and leave signs. Then if you want to disable arena it's a very straightforward command you falling block disable and then the arena name T1 is my other arena. So that is how you do everything. It's a really awesome plugin as I mentioned. Uh, there's not too much in the config files. You can obviously uh, change various things and it saves all of the data that you've created in game. Uh, but then you can re-enable it and join and leave as you want. And then on the right we have a very nice scoreboard that shows you various information about the game. Uh, but we are going to hop straight in and attempt to play a couple of games, but as I said, it's not going to be easy. So here we are in the lobby, and as you can see, it's counting down. Any minute now, blocks are going to start raining from the sky. It will say survive, and there we go, the game is already over because my other account was AFK, and he was unlucky enough to get hit by a block. So we are going to try again. Obviously, um, it's very difficult to show this, as I keep mentioning, um, but there are really cool features like game starting popping up, uh, the countdown before the game, and obviously fireworks at the end for the winner. So if we go ahead and restart and rejoin the game, we will have the countdown. And if we can see here, you can just run about in the lobby um, until the game starts. So the game's about to start in five seconds. Unfortunately, I have just died there, which is interesting. I was standing in the wrong place, but if you are looking up above you, uh, you'll have a much better chance of surviving as you'll see where the blocks are coming from. There's not too much in the config files, so you don't really need to mess around there. Everything is in game, you just set it up, you make a really cool arena, and there you go. So if you want to download this plugin, check out the link down below. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting. But that's it for me for this week. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.